I do have a special bonus for you, so stick around, um, and I'll show you some other cool things you can do when the puzzle's all taken apart. Welcome to our solution. To set it up, at first you want the quartet piece on this far outside, and the one that stands with Hanayama on that far outside piece, there and there. We're going to rotate the Hanayama piece Next, again, focusing on the Hanayama piece, I want to take this piece, Hanayama, stamp on it, and I want to rotate it around this corner. But I can't do that right now. So to get that one to rotate around that corner, I have to slide the quartet piece and this one apart. You notice that that, I don't know if you can see that from that angle, this piece, the unmarked one, fell down into that groove. And now, with that piece out of the way, the Hanayama piece will slide nicely around that corner. So now the Hanayama piece is over here. The unmarked piece is, is on an angle to it. Next, again, I'm focusing mainly on the Hanayama piece. You can see right here. I'm going to twist it and try and set it down flat right on top of this quartet piece. To do that I have to take this corner and put it through right there. So watch, I'll do that. I'll put that corner through, the Hanayama piece sits down, and this one here is now in there. I rotate it a little bit, but that doesn't matter. I've got my Hanayama piece here. My quartet piece is currently, you can see, See the stamp right there. What I want to do is rotate the quartet piece slightly so that the Hanayama stamp and the quartet stamp are opposite each other here and here. And I'm going to now take the quartet piece and basically push it through this unmarked piece and get that out of the way. And before I do that, I do want this piece turned over to the side here. And this piece is going to go straight through. That corner is going to have to pass through that corner as we do this. And may require a little bit of jiggling, but that will fit perfectly through there. And you shouldn't have to uh, force them at all. Um, they, they do pass right through just like that. Okay. You can see that they there they are. Okay. And you can see the, the Hanayama piece and the uh, quartet piece are there. And these two pieces on the inside, the two unmarked pieces, we're going to rotate them and pull them apart. Again, I've got my Hanayama there quartet there and these two apart. If I rotate them um, a bit of a turn that way and I start taking them apart, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to pull that piece off there. I'm going to pull this piece off here and then they come apart just like that. They are in their pairs match up perfectly we can take them apart and that's how you take apart that puzzle the solution for putting the quartet puzzler back together again is that first you need to find um, some pairs that match together each of the stamped pieces the one stamped with quartet and also the one stamped with Hanayama has a partner that matches up perfectly. And if you don't want to use the puzzle anymore, you can use them as rings because they're beautiful. Look at that extra bling. Anyway, after you have these puzzle pairs together, what you'll want to do is set it so that you can see the word quartet and that the other piece is turned upwards with the opening facing up. Same with this. I want to be able to see the word Hanayama and have the other piece 
turned so that it is facing up. Now what I'm going to do is put these two pieces together, the Hanayama and the Quartet, just like that. But what I want to do is get these two upright pieces in the middle and the Hanayama and Quartet piece together. To do that, I have to put this Hanayama piece over that unmarked piece and the Quartet piece over that unmarked piece. It's a little bit crowded but it fits and gets you into this position, which is where you want to be. You can see you've got your Hanayama and quartet pieces opposite and the two unmarked pieces. And we want to twist here a couple of times until we have our Hanayama piece there. And now what I'm going to do is interlock the two unmarked pieces. I'm going to set this unmarked piece down into um, right into that section of the Hanayama puzzle. To do that, this corner has to pass through that corner. So this may take a little bit of um, sort of jiggling and moving the other pieces to the side, but basically it's going to fit in. Just like that. I've still got my quartet here, Hanayama here, and now this new piece, um, the unmarked piece right in there. Now what I want to do is um, I want to take my quartet piece and actually rotate it up there. So I'm going to move, twist this unmarked piece just so that it can um, kind of fit around there. There we go. Let's jiggle with that a little bit. And now I have my unmarked piece and my quartet piece lined up and they will they are going to go together. I want this unmarked piece down here. And now I'm going to put this piece basically through the Hanayama piece. You'll see this corner goes through that corner so that this unmarked piece and the quartet piece line up. It looks something like this. This one here will have to twist slightly so that that piece can go right through there. And you'll see that the quartet piece is now lined up with its partner, the Hanayama piece, which you can see is stamped right there. That one is perpendicular to this piece. Now, I want the Hanayama piece to swing around this corner, but to do that I have to get this piece out of the way. So I'm going to push that down into here, and now my Hanayama piece will um, swing around the corner. And now I'm back to the beginning. I don't know if you remember at the beginning we were in this situation, and we basically just have to take the Hanayama piece here and rotate it around or back to the beginning where the pieces fit together perfectly. There's the full solution for putting the Hanayama puzzle back together. Once we have it apart, I want to show you how to configure this so that um, you can have some, some neat uh, patterns. The first thing that you can do is um, set the pieces like this. So the Hanayama and Quartet pieces set like this. Your two unmarked pieces set like that. And this is something um, I like to call the Wonder Woman uh, symbol. I don't know. It looks kind of like that. I always thought it did anyway when I put it together like that. Um, the other thing that you can do is if you set them across from each other um, in their pairs, so the, this pair across here and this pair here. What you can do is put it together in, in this way and they will push together to form um, a cool looking kind of diamond shape. So that's kind of a neat bonus as well. And this puzzle, because of all the cool things it can do, that's why it is my second favorite of all Hanayama puzzles of all times, number two. Very cool.